gosh, I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a month. I think I took almost like a month long break, you guys. Hello, peace out. But hello, friends, and happy new year, you guys. Honestly, alam nyo, pinilit ko lang yung kong tumayo. I was like, get up, Tony, you gotta film your best of beauty 2021. <laughs> I'm getting older. We are all getting older. But anyway, last year, I was the best of beauty. So I said, I'm going to This is actually the year I discovered a new makeup routine that I super, super love and I will continue wearing. And the year, I discovered a lot of new beauty products that are affordable, that work, and that I truly, truly love and can recommend to you. In 2020, I didn't love makeup as much, but 2021 was a beauty awakening moment for me. I really love makeup, guys. Honestly, not just makeup, but also skincare. So so I have a bunch to share with you. I'm really happy with my makeup routine. I'm happy with my skin right now. So I feel like I have a lot of discoveries that I wanted to share. And majority of these products you are actually familiar. But this is my roundup of my most used, most loved, tried and tested for the whole year. Because I like switching it up. You guys know the man. But these ones are my ride or dies for the year 2021. So let's get started with my skincare products. Tatlo yung sunscreen na ginamit ko talaga. The BLK Daydream Airy sunscreen. This is the sheer one. Ito yung walang tint. This sunscreen is perfect for oily skin if you are leaning towards a more matte finish. Hindi masyadong malagkit. Hindi masyadong slippery. This one is a great option. It sits really well on top of the skin. Hindi siya nakaka-add ng oiliness, greasiness. It is more of a natural matte finish. So kung hanap niyo yun, gamit na gamit ko to. If you have dry skin naman, kung gusto mo na medyo moisturizing, hydrating yung sunscreen mo, sis, gamit na gamit ko tong Skin by BYS na extra effortless pore perfecting sunblock. Lahat ng sunscreens ko with SPF 50. And ito talaga yung taon na talagang ginawa kong routine yung sunscreen ko. I try to wear sunscreen every single day and I feel like because of these three, I fell in love with sunscreen. So it's all about finding the right formula for you that will entice you to wear sunscreen on a daily basis. And recently, I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion. I saw this randomly sa Lazada and bumili ako kasi naka-sale siya. And this one has 88ml and it's really, really good. At first, meron siyang bluish tint. But when you blend it out, nawawala yung bluish tint niya. Wala din tong white cast. This is also very hydrating, but it's not oily. So perfect for daily wear. And I love the fact that it has 88 ml. Whereas these two, 50 ml and 30 ml lang. If you're looking for most value for money, then dun kayo sa Neutrogena. So that's for my sunscreen. This is also the year I really fell in love with the Nasific Phytoniacin Whitening Toner. I really, really like this. I feel like it just smoothed out my skin. I'm truly happy with where my skin is at right now. I feel like with the combination of the skincare products I've been using and the fact that I've been more religious using them, yun talaga yung kaya naging okay din yung skin ko talaga. Hindi na ako masyad nag-break out. Phytoniacin whitening toner hydrates my skin really well. I feel like it also plumps my skin. And nakaka-smooth din siya. Nakatulong din to sa aking mga acne marks. Especially nung ginamitan ko din ng Pons na Triple Glow Serum. You guys all know how much I really like this. This one I use more on the mornings before I apply my makeup. So it's kind of like a cream makeup base for me. But what I like about this is that it's lightweight, absorbs really well onto the skin, and it makes applying makeup so much easier and also brightens the skin. It is a really affordable serum that does the job if you guys want a more even out skin tone. I highly recommend the Pond's Triple Go Serum. Another serum I really love. It's a new addition to my collection. I have been religiously using this and ito naman nakitaan ko ng difference yung aking fine line. So this is from YOU Beauty. This is the Radiance White Nourishing Plus Serum with 9 brightening acne for fine skin nourishment, improved skin barrier. Meron siyang slow mushroom, 50 times vitamin C, niacinamide, and probiotics. Now, this one, guys, I concentrate this aking lines. Here, here, and I have noticed a tremendous difference. Natitan yung skin ko, kumbaga. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel it. It's great for the lights. It's great for my fine lines. If you have a lot of, like, fine lines, this one is a really good one. I usually use this after I use the Nasific toner, and I really, really like it because it's fast absorbing as well. It doesn't disrupt the moisturizer and I can sleep comfortably in it. Hindi dumidikit yung buhok ko sa kanya. Nagsaset din pala to. And then, for moisturizer, you guys, I thought long and hard. But if I were to give it to the best moisturizer I've tried this year, or last year rather, it has to go to the Sunny Space Dream Cream. This is crazy good. I have to say, I've been dealing with contact dermatitis for the longest time and kailangan may ina-apply akong gamot from my derma and I wanted to stop doing that 
because it actually thins out the skin on my eyes. So I was like, what is a good alternative that can calm down my skin pa rin? This one hydrates my skin. The next day when I wake up, sobrang smooth ng skin ko. I think it's with a combination of, again, the other skincare products I've been using. Okay na okay talaga sila combined. I guess my routine has been working. Sometimes I even use this as well before I apply my makeup. It works well with my sunscreens. Hindi siya nagpapil. It's a great, straightforward moisturizer. Sabi niya, supercharged hydrating gel. And it is really that. It's not really a magical cream or whatever, but literally, para ka uminom ng tubig. Guys, nakalahati ko na siya. Sobrang gamit ko to. So, I highly, highly recommend this. I'm kind of sad I didn't get to repurchase it nung naka-sale siya. Sis, kasi medyo may kamahalan siya, I have to say. But, it's worth every penny. For cleanser, ang pinaka-tumatak na cleanser sa akin, guys, si Pons na Healthy Hydration. Walang biro. It works. It's not drying at all. It is in a form of a jelly. And it lathers. And that's what I'm looking for truly in a cleanser. And this one delivered. This is my second one. I'm using the orange version right now. I really love it. I repurchased it so many times. So that is it. That is basically it for my skincare. Honorable mention din yung Pili Annie na self-care night recovery oil. If I natama talaga ako mag-skincare type of day, I just slap on that face oil and it truly works wonders. So anyway, moving now to some makeup favorites. Again, I want to mention lang this freaking trio of a brush set. This is a complexion brush by OVW. I bought it lang. Walang expectations, honestly. And it surprised me truly one of my favorite discoveries of the year. I saw a lot of you guys purchasing it actually and thank you so much for your trust. I saw a lot of you guys loving it as well. This is a no-fail, super affordable face complexion brush trio. Only 140 pesos for this beauty. You got a smaller flat top brush. Sa ito yung gusto kong size sa kanya kasi I don't really use foundation naman. So this is perfect for spot concealing. You guys know naman how much I preach spot concealing. It really worked for me. I don't feel like I need foundation kasi to be honest. So concealer lang wherever I need it. And I use this brush to blend it out. And then this one naman to set specific areas on my face that I want to powder underneath my eyes. For example, on the crevices of my face, my forehead. And I've also been looking for a great spot concealing brush and I found it already. Kasama pa siya nung set. Imagine tatlong piraso na to. Walang tapon yun yung pinaka nagustuhan ko. So guys, kung wala pa kayo to, let me tell you, read the reviews. Hindi kayo magsisisi. This is one of my favorite discoveries last year. I can't believe it's last year. Parang kailan na. But anyway, wala akong foundation favorite. I actually have a foundation favorite, like a base product favorite. Only Happy Skin. Ito yung cushion nila. Girl, sobrang ganda ng cushion na to. It's full coverage. Ito yung time na talaga nagko-cushion ako. Ito lang yung ginagamit ko. Napa-cushion ako, napa-foundation ako because na-discover ko tong Happy Skin cushion. Sobrang gamit na gamit ko to nung 2021. It looks gross. It's a beautiful cushion. Thin lang siya sa skin, but it provides really, really good coverage. Hindi ko lang nagustuhan yung shade range nila. Pero, in terms of the formula, beautiful, natural matte finish that's like long-lasting. Everything you want in a cushion is is in the Happy Skin cushion. So this one, oh my gosh, I really love this. Tumigil lang akong gamitin siya kasi nga hindi na ako nag-foundation ngayon. Pero if ever mag-foundation ako, yun, reliable yun. We're going straight to concealer. So honestly, the Sem Cover Perfection Tip Concealer is a front runner. It's honestly a champion for I don't even know how many years now. Kung babalikan niyo yung mga ibang yearly favorites ko, andito na yun, I think, four years, five years. This is truly one of my favorites. This is just the most reliable concealer. If you have oily skin, you will love this. If you have drier skin, definitely hydrate and moisturize ka muna bago mo to gamitin because I have heard that this concealer might be drying for some, but for me, I've never really had a problem. Full coverage, sobrang affordable, less than 200 pesos. Travel friendly, but I have to give it to the Get Ready With Me All About That Base Radiance Tints. Like, guys, I use this so much. Burado na siya. Nag-crack na rin siya. So, sobrang gamit ko sa kanya this year. This is in the shade Porcelain. Ang galing ni May for this. These two lang talagang ginamit kong concealer na tumatak sa akin ngayong taon. Again, ang daming mga runner-ups, but when it comes to the best of the best, these two, if you like full coverage, it lasts all day on me. It looks so smooth on my skin and actually works even if I don't set it with a powder, but it's not super cakey as well. And you get a lot of product. For powders, I have three. In terms of my favorite powder, I have to give it to the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. Medyo matagal na to sa akin, but for some reason, champion siya. Hindi siya nauubos. Like, itong 
ginagamit, I find this powder to be very versatile because if I want it just to set my entire face and not add too much coverage, it works. If I want to use it as a powder foundation, mas may coverage, it works without looking cakey. So that's what I like about it. It mattifies my face, blurs out any of my pores and finer lines. And the best part is, ilang beses ko na tong nakulog and it's still alive. I think I bought this before pandemic pa guys. I'm still using the same thing. I know it's gross but sayang pera, mahal to si The moment I run out of this, I am definitely repurchasing because it's such a reliable foolproof powder. Sometimes ito rin yung dinadala ko minsan sa mga bagelia ko. So ayan. And then, if I want a lighter powder pero very smoothing, kung oil control ang hanap niyo mga sis, this is the best out of the three. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder Foundation. It is really matte though. So if you guys have oily skin, you will love this. It's really the most oil controlling in pore blurring powder I have ever tried. I've always been a fan of Maybelline powders and this one, their newest matte poreless, it's so good. Sobrang smooth talaga ng finish. So if you have larger pores, this powder foundation, it is marketed as a powder foundation. I would say it doesn't really have too much coverage. Mas maganda yung coverage nito makeup forever. But for an everyday option, this one works really well. And newer favorite, I have to give it to the BLK Airy Matte Perfecting Foundation. This one has SPF 20. I use the shade Vanilla Oat. I also have used this so much this year. It's great because if there are days that I want to powder my face but don't want to look super matte, yung parang may bounce back pa rin ng light sa skin ko, this is what I use. Out of the three, this is the least matte of them all. If you hate powders, you don't want that super dry look, this is not drying at all. But it sets the makeup really well. So if you guys are looking for a more natural, skin perfecting powder, legit looks like skin, try nyo tong BLK maganda rin siya. Dome to talaga. Pero sobrang gamit ko sa kanya this year na nawawala na yung pagka-dome niya. And then, moving on to the eyebrows. Surprisingly, I have a lot to share with you guys. The best thing that ever happened to my eyebrows this year was nagpa-microblade ako sa Strokes Beauty. Literally, I wake up with the most beautiful eyebrows na konti na lang yung kailangan kong gawin. So what I've been using to complement my microbladed eyebrows are these products. So guys, I did a review on this sa isang try new makeup and hindi ko siya nagustuhan. But sis, this is so good. This is the NYX Brow Glue. This is amazing. Nag-repurchase na ako kasi sobrang ganda niya. Like, literally, ito yung ginamit ko today. And my eyebrows are just up. They're perky. And they're gonna stay like that for the entire day. Munti ko na ito i-declutter. And then I decided, you know, I'm gonna try it out again. And for the second time, I love na ako. So, this is staying with me. It's so travel-friendly kasi I used to use the got-to-be glued spiking glue. This is also really good. Super sulit niya kasi meron siyang 35 grams. So, I would say most sulit out of them all. Ito yung una kong ginagamit pero sobrang laki niya. Dito talaga talaga ako nagsimula. Nagsimula. Tapos lumipat ako sa Anastasia Brow Freeze. Maganda rin tong Anastasia Brow Freeze. Ayan, sobrang gamit ko rin siya. These are also other brow glue favorites of mine. But yeah, currently I've been loving the NYX one and it's so much more travel friendly than these other two. But then again, are we traveling? Because it seems like we can't right now. So <laughs> for Kilay, the BLK Brow Lock, if you want like a two-in-one, meron na tong pencil on one side. Super easy easy to use. Mine looks gross, you guys. Wala na yung label, wala na lahat. Gamit na gamit ko to. Uses in almost all of my tutorials. And then, you also get a clear brow glue just to set the eyebrows in place. Yung glue nito, hindi the best, I have to say. But it still works. If you want like a duo, perfect for traveling, highly reco the BLK Brow Lock. And then, I have to give it again to Strokes Beauty. I used the Brow Painter in Ash Brown muna. Just to fill in the gaps of my kilay, tapos nag brow glue na ako. This one is super thin. This is my favorite product of theirs. So it's really gonna give you hair-like strokes. And sobrang matchy niya sa aking kilay. Very foolproof brow products. Best brow products locally. I also love their Brow Sculptor Duo. A pencil lang nila na parang super mahal na Anastasia pencil. Something like that. So yeah, those two super reliable. Mascaras tayo. Ito honorable mention. Unahin ko na to. Si Foreign Cause Tattoo Mascara. Uy, maganda to ha. Ilang beses ko na to nagamit. And it's really more lengthening. Hindi lang siya masyadong volumizing. But what I like about it is it holds the curl and hindi rin siya mabilis mag-smudge. Actually, I think best seller to sa Shopee. Binili ko dahil na-curious ako and it actually delivered. So yeah, a foreign cost tattoo mascara but nothing beats the Heroin Make Long and Curl mascara. Yung meron ako ngayon yung Long Up mascara but I use the Long and Curl Heroin mascara. Hindi yun na kasi makita yung tatak na nabura na naman siya. But Heroin Make mascara, it's just the best mascara I've tried from 2017 until ngayon 20 
2022 na yun lang yung talagang pinakamagandang mascara na natry ko. This is truly the best of the best mascara ever. It's super waterproof. The only downside, I know, it has a downside. It's so waterproof to the point na minsan mahirap na siyang tanggalin. So you have to find a really effective makeup remover to remove it. But other than that, honestly, this mascara is perfection, especially if you have super short, stubby, straight lashes na pababa. Girl, ito na yung katapat ng sobrang ganda niya, sis. Alright, let's move on to bronzers, blushes, highlighters, my favorite category ever. I love them. Honorable mention dito kay Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour Palette. Sobrang gamit na gamit ko to. Sa lahat ng palettes ng nirelease ng Benefit, ito yung pinakagamit na gamit ko. They always release palettes like this, but this is my most used and I would say the best one out there because walang tapon sa shade range. You are getting five full-size products. You get the full-size hula bronzer, the full-size cookie highlighter na sobrang gamit ko rin this year. Sugar Bomb, Georgia, and Dallas. All of these colors are very tony siya. You guys know naman Really, I've used them a ton this year. Whenever I don't know what to use on my face, I just grab this and go and just use everything that's in the palette. It's so convenient, you guys. The formulation is amazing. You know, if you're gonna travel, this is such a great handy one to travel with. You get a mirror pa. For bronzers, I honestly use so many bronzers right now. Iisa-isahin ko yung contour and powder bronzer duo from Pajita. Since I have used this so many times, this one has a mirror. It's just a great no-fail bronzer duo. You get a cream on top and then a powder bronzer at the bottom. This looks disgusting. That's how much I've used it throughout 2021. Meron ng dent yung contour color and then this is the bronzer. This is perfect. If I want something that's super quick lang, this one, I bring this with me every time I go out of town. Sobrang reliable niya. Blends really well onto the skin. I've tried other cream bronzers. I love the Patrick Ta bronzer duo more than those other ones and that says a lot. And I love the versatility that you get a cream and then a powder and both of the formulas work amazing for everyday use. And then, this year, in fairness, I ko na yung na beige na Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. Ko. Medyo matagal na to sa akin, but I decided to pull it back out of my collection this year lang and mas na-enjoy ko siyang gamitin. And it actually is such a beautiful bronzer. In fairness naman, kahit na mahal to, sulit siya kasi you get 30 grams of bronzer. It is worth it. Formula is amazing. It just looks like you got a session at the beach. You got an even exposure to Mr. Sun. This looks the most natural and sun-kissed out of all of the other bronzers I have tried. And I have to say, <sighs> mm -hmm. You know, I get super flattered every time I see someone na gumagamit itong brush na to, like either TikTok or YouTube. Minsan may napapanood nila akong random person who uses this brush and I'm like, I'll see you girl! I'll see you! This is the Sephora Pro Diffuser 64 brush. This is the best cream product brush. Okay so for cream bronzer, okay so for cream blush, cream anything, minsan foundation pa nga. Sis, if you don't have this brush, you gotta get it. It is a replica of the Sephora one, but it works amazing. Sobrang ganda ng brush na to. I'm so kilig every time I see your review sa Shopee, ganun na you really really like it. I'm like, yes sister! That's the best brush ever. Okay, another honorable mention itong ginamit ko today as my bronzer is the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. Wala siyang shade. Very similar to the Chanel one. The difference is the size. Sobrang liit itong e.l.f. So honestly, kaya kung sasabing sulit itong Chanel eh kasi malaki siya. Ang daming product. Itong e.l.f. Sis, parang kiddie size. Parang travels. Eh, nung ko sobrang liit niya lang. Ganyan siya. I wish they would come out with like a full size para mas mabilis lang pumasok yung mga brushes because that's the only gripe I have with this. Ang hira pumasok ng brush dun sa pot kasi sobrang liit niya. The formula though is amazing. It's very thin but it's so blendable. It almost looks airbrushed when you apply it on the skin especially when you use it with this brush. It melts onto the skin. It's such a great cream bronzer if you wanna get into cream bronzers and you know you're in a budget. The e.l.f. cream bronzer is a really good starting point. So for powder bronzer and contour, nagustuhan ko din tong Too Cool for School na Art Class. This is in the shade Classic. So meron siyang three shades. This is great to contour and bronzer face with. The color is very neutral meaning it's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's really truly the perfect shading color to give you both the warmth and the scalp that you need. So you can really get away with this kahit na gusto mo siyang as a bronzer kasi it's really gonna bronze your skin, it's gonna warm it up but you get that sculpting effect. So maganda to guys, a really thin powder formula that melts onto the skin. And then for highlight, I have two favorites. Moon Beauty Highlight in Celestial. It's a really great liquid highlighter. It does have glitters 
face but in fairness once on the skin it gives you that expensive glow and maganda rin kasi yung wand applicator niya kasi it can get onto even the high points of your face really easily the nose bridge mo the brow bone sissy on the tops of your cheeks cupid's bow and you know all the other high points of your face another highlighter that impressed me I have to say is the Chris Sawyer Prismatic Highlighter in the shade Starlight. It has a formula of a higher-end highlighter. Honestly, so smooth. No glitter whatsoever. It's such a soft, smooth, buttery highlighter. Everything you want in a highlighter is in here. I super love the Strokes Beauty Face Flash. These ones, guys, gamit na gamit. I bring these with me when I go to the beaches, when I travel, go out of town. My favorite colors are Sparkling Champagne and Gold Rush. Ganda ng formula. Very foolproof. They give you that wet look. <gasps> oh, I love these so much. It's so easy to apply also with your fingers. Tap tap mo lang dun sa higher points of your face, you guys. Or nagustuhan ko rin yung Strokes Beauty na Crush Blush. So these two are my favorite colors. Last year was also the year I discovered my love for anything. Baby pink blushes, baby pink lipsticks, pink, 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 pink. That looks so classic, so flattering on my face, especially nung nag-hair color ako, guys. Sobrang flattering talaga ng pink. So anyway, eto nagustuhan ko yung crush blush ng Strokes in the shade Fatal. Now, this is a purple blush, but sis, ang ganda niya. It somehow magically looks gorgeous, natural, and flattering on my skin tone. Like, I love it. Even Morenas, I've seen a lot of beautiful Morenas rocking this blush color. So, honestly, kung nahihilig kayo sa pink, try nyo rin yung purple kasi same family sila. It's gonna give you a similar effect. So doll-like. So flushed. Pero favorite shade ko talaga si Darling. Ito rin, ang dami sa inyo bumili nito. It's a classic baby pink that just looks so good on a lot of different skin tones across the board. Really, truly melts onto the skin. Para ka lang naturally blushing kasi nakita mo yung crush mo. Kaya nga, ang pangalan niya ay Crush Blush in the shade Darling. Okay, my favorite liquid blusher for this year has to go to Cutie Beauty. Again, that same baby pink. Ito yung gamit ko ngayon. It is just a classic color. Walo nating nailed the color of this blush. I think this is his iconic color. Yung year talaga na na in love talaga ako sa pink. I have a tutorial on that. You guys wanna see like how I do my updated makeup routine naman. Nga taon, nag-release si Paul ng liquid blush in the shade Beauty, which is like the perfect baby pink and the my favorite part about this is that it lasts the entire day. This is actually really good for oily skin because it has more of a matte finish. Hindi din siya kabilis mag-transfer kahit na nakamaska, which is a bonus. Ang lakas makabridal. Ang ganda. What started my addiction for pinks is actually the nude sticks. Nudies Bloom. All over dewy color in the shade. Cherry Blossom Babe. This is my OG. Ito yung ginamit ko sa makeup tutorial ko na baby pinks. And ever since then, I've just been wearing baby pinks. And yeah, I've seen a lot of you guys wear the baby pink trend and it looks so good on you. This one started it all for me so I highly recommend also but if you want a more affordable option yung kay Beauty Beauty, maganda yan. And also yung Essence Blush na be fitting if you want a powder blush option naman. This is really long lasting. It's a great color for every day. Medyo pinky pinky rosy mauve pink. And my favorite my favorite blush brush to apply my cream blushes and liquid blushes with is also from the Sephora Replica Collection. Ito yung Pro Foundation for so this is actually a foundation brush, but I super love this to apply my cream and liquid blushes. It just deposits the product really well. So we are moving on to the lip category. Ito yung mga pinaka iconic for 2021, like the Tony Sia Starter Pack. Start of 2021, for, I would say first half. I was consistently using Sunny Space Baby Spice. Literally, sis, it is almost gone. Sobrang ganda ng lip color nito. It's a perfect pink. I love this. The formula is really great. I also so really love for lip liners yung Etude House na Soft Touch Auto Lip Liners. These are like 80 pesos or 90 pesos and they work really well at lining the lips. So ayan, if you guys are looking for affordable lip liners, I highly recommend these and the colors are so good too. Etude House Soft Touch Auto Lip Liners. And then ito na po yung aking favorite na natural oil-based multi-purpose stains. You guys know naman, one of my favorite discoveries din talaga for 2021. Sobrang gaganda ng shade selection. Favorite shade ko, number one shade ko is sa Pantaha. Guys, ang dami na sa inyo bumili din ng natural. Sobrang ganda rin niya. Again, the same family, yo. Oh. Ayan sa Pantaha, but I also love other colors like Malana, Mutia. I'm gonna list down all of my favorite shades from natural. They work really amazing. And then, 
if I want more of a dewy option, ito yung ginamit ko sa Chargao. My favorites from Roman. These are the juicy lasting tints. I would say my top one is Bear Grape kasi nga, ito na naman po tayo sa pinks. Ayan. Pink na naman si Bear Grape. So, what I like about this is that it's really dewy. Ayan siya. Like, may shine siya. And because of that, it actually hydrates the lips as well. And it just looks amazing. And then, if you want a more mask-proof, everyday-friendly matte option, maganda rin yung Etude House na fixing tints na in love ako kay Dusty Beige. Ito yung bago nilang color. Ang ganda. It is also on the pink side. The Dusty Beige ni Etude House, very long-lasting and also mask-proof. And I also have the color Ginger Milk Tea, which is a more warm tone peach orangey. But I would say, if you had to get one shade, get Dusty Beige. If you are looking pala for an affordable option of the Roman Juicy Lasting Tint, I recommend the Detail Cosmetics. This is their glass stain in the shade Naked. What a great launch from Detail Cosmetics. This lip tint is beautiful. If you're looking for a dupe nga ng Roman, this is only $1.99. Guys, sobrang ganda niya. Oh my gosh, nakalimutan ko yung isa sa mga pinakagamit na gamit ko pa. Another favorite, I have to mention, the Happy Skin Cooling Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Dusk. Of course, who can forget? Why did I forget about that? I love that lip tint so much. It's very similar to these mga glossy, very natural, non-drying lip tints. I super love that as well. But yeah, this is the Detail Cosmetics Glass Stain. It is a newer release, but I swear, it's so good. I had to mention it. But yes, guys, that completes my 2021 Best of Beauty. My tried, tested, most used, most loved beauty products for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Picked up some recommendations as always. Sahat talaga to. Favorites, gamit na gamit ko. And you've seen all of them at least once on the channel and on my IG stories. I love these products so much and I hope you guys do too. But yes, thank you guys so much for all your support last 2021. Honestly, I'm taking things slow right now for 2021. 22, ayokong biglain yung sarili ko na feeling ko kailangan ko agad maglabas ng content. Feeling ko medyo andun pa ako sa recovering from last year na medyo tinatamad pa to do anything. Like, trying to declutter my home before I can put out some content for you guys. But anyway, thank you for your support last 2021 and for being with me for, I think, 5 years now. Like, you guys are honestly the best and I can't wait to make more memories with you, to reach more dreams with you guys. Let's grow together. More blessings this 2022. More achievements for us big or small, I will be proud of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you sa lahat ng suporta. Forever gonna be grateful to all of you guys. And yes, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below what you wanna see next on the channel. If you guys have 2022 vlog suggestions, like a series I can probably start that you would want to watch, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And yes, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!